Here's a quick video to walk through the solution to the Combo Box 2 practice file for tomorrow's quiz. The difference between Combo Box 2 and the previous one, the plain Combo Box practice file, is that in the, the plain one, I already gave you the third input in its scenarios. But in Combo Box 2, I wanted you to start practicing building that area for your own, and then in Combo Box 3, actually building all of it. So in Combo Box 2, we'll go ahead and build out the scenario. I believe the problem asks us for CapEx, ranging from $2.8 to $3.2 million. So let's just go ahead and type that in. We'll need a cell above the scenarios to show the selected scenario. And then given in the problem is 2.8, 3, and $3.2 million. We'll type that in. And we'll need to put an offset above them to show which one is selected. I guess first we need to have a linked cell telling us which one to select. So I'll go ahead and type a 1 in there and say offset the current cell this number of rows and no columns. And then when I change that 1 to a 2, it selects the base case scenario. I'd like to format that with the same number formatting and then make that cell, make that row gray so that we know that's our selected scenario. And then while we're at it, we're just going to copy that offset formula to all of these. We did them individually in class, uh, but we can go ahead and just copy and paste here. We don't need the practice. Then we want to have the capex. Look over here at the selected capex. We want to have the revenue. Look at the selected revenue. And the expenses. Look at the selected expenses. I can copy revenue and expenses across the years at the same time. And let's go ahead and test this while we're at it. And sure enough, all the numbers change the way we want, so it's time to go ahead and draw the combo box and link it. Uh, let's get some gray cells up there so that we can see the contrast. And then we'll go to Developer and Insert combo box from the form controls. We're going to first need our, the names of our scenarios, aren't we? I'm just going to copy them from right here. I'm going to leave the word scenario in there for the sake of time. Format that control. Look at that input range that we just copied. And link it to a cell link. Throw in the 3D shading just for effects. And it gives us an error. I think it's because I had a number in there. Let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, that error was nothing to worry about. Okay.